Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders Limited and the Gujarat State Government has signed a memorandum of understanding for the construction of an underwater adventure submarine with a 32-person capacity, designed specifically for exploring marine life. During the ongoing Egypt Defence 2023, representatives from the Algerian Army expressed keen interest in the BrahMos supersonic anti-ship cruise missile, and they were briefed about all the variants and its capabilities. The Indian Army is in the process of inducting an indigenous artificial intelligence-based software for predictive analysis, that can collect electronic signatures of the equipment across the border, and profile all equipments on the enemy side. The Indian Navy has conducted an exercise to evaluate contingency measures for offshore platforms off the Mumbai coast along with other services. US India and South Korea have agreed to launch a trilateral technology dialogue in first quarter of 2024, that will be led by respective national security councils, and will focus on critical and emerging technologies. The NIA has arrested 15 ISIS operatives during simultaneous raids at 44 locations in two states, and huge amounts of unaccounted cash, firearms incriminating documents digital devices and 51 Hamas flags were seized during the raids. Among the arrested is a senior manager of a multinational IT firm in Pune earning 3 lakh rupees per month. The key run trainer of the Indian Air Force have started conversion into optionally manned combat aircraft, and two successful flight tests have also been conducted recently. It has demonstrated auto takeoff and auto landing without any remote pilot, and once ready, it will be used as a decoy to draw out enemy air positions, and will be armed for carrying out air strikes in contested airspace. HAL has plans to develop both the AMCA and TED BF as optionally manned aircraft backed by artificial intelligence. Hindustan Aeronautics has displayed the new glass cockpit of Navy's MiG-29K at the Avionics Expo 2023 in Delhi. The MiG-29K will also get an indigenous mission computer developed by Hindustan Aeronautics very soon, that will give them the flexibility to integrate domestically developed and western origin air-launched weapons, which is currently limited to carry only Russian origin weapons. Indian fighter jets are being equipped with indigenous advanced digital map generator, that will help the pilots to avoid losing directions. All the hardware and software of the digital map generator has been made in India. Pilots will be able to check the map on their cockpit display while flying, and apart from navigation, it will also tell about enemy military bases and air defense systems. Gridbots has unveiled its Sears Salt Rain 4x4 High Payload Autonomous Robot, which has an endurance of 6 hours, and can transport 1,500 kg payload on cross-country trains, and can also be used for inspection surveillance and reconnaissance. It has the capability to move in swarms at 15 km per hour, automatic and follow-me mode, and auto-target lock features that will save time and resources of troops on battlefield. Today's Top 3 Comments